you're wanting to create an email signature within command, I'm going to show exactly how to do that. So once I'm in command on the home page, I'm going to scroll down to the designs tab on the left toolbar. Once I'm here, I'm going to select the plus sign on the bottom right hand corner. Select social and next. We're going to go on the left hand side to business basics. And out of these four options, we're going to scroll to the right and select email signature. I have one option here, so I'm going to select the pencil to edit it. From here, I can edit this design. I'm gonna first start with the photo. I'm gonna select the photo, and from here, I can select any photos that I have within my library. I'm gonna simply select the double-headed arrow for replace image to swap that image out. I can select my photo and reposition it just a little bit if I feel if it's off-centered. And I'm gonna select Done. Now from here, I'm going to start top to bottom with editing the text. Select KWDBA name. I'm going to select the, on the left-hand side, logos. And I can either select the logo that I already have uploaded or select company logos, KW, and pick one from here. Make sure that the logo is selected, and then from here, I can again select the double headed arrow for replace logo. Pick one that I like, and I might have to reposition it just a little bit to get it exactly how I want it to look. There we go. I'm going to double select first and last and type in my information. Double click license number and type in my license number and my office address. I'm going to change out all this information down here at the bottom to correct info. First, my mobile number. My office number. My email. and website. Now, if you want to input your app ID code, what you're gonna do is open up your Keller Williams app on your cell phone. On the left-hand side, select the three arrows and go to my profile. And from there, you're gonna see the app code and you're gonna type that number in And there you go. Now I'm going to rename this file with Amanda Knight email signature. Select enter. And from there I can download it. I'm going to select it as a JPEG. Start download. And you'll see it. Once it's downloaded, it will show up at the bottom of your screen. Great, I'm gonna select done. Now, go to my email in Google. Once I'm in my email, I'm gonna select the gear on the right-hand side for settings. I'm gonna select settings. When I scroll down, 
here's my signature. Now I can select where I want it to be placed and I'm gonna select insert image. I can select upload, drag and drop my file. There it is. I'm gonna go down at the bottom to save changes. From here, when I create a new email, you can see my signature is listed right there. Hope this helps.